recertification of our hazmat team. By April 1st, is that the date? The April, April, they'll be doing it with sometime before we expire on April 16th. So okay. sometime in that time frame, they'll be coming to the inspection. They haven't set a date yet. They're waiting on our approval. Okay. I'll make a motion to uh, approve the recertification. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any questions, John? Yeah, give me a sense of what, what that involves. Is that Pima coming down? Are your guys doing training? Pima, Pima comes down. Uh, they send representatives from uh, Pima, the State Fire Academy, and the Department of Health. And they go over all of our records, make sure we have the right equipment, make sure the equipment's up to date and inspected, make sure all the medical records are in place. So this certifies the, the team as a whole, the not, team as not a whole. the individuals? Right, just the team as a whole, the overall, the overall team response and the equipment that we have. Is all our equipment up to date with calibration? Yes. Okay. And are we doing that in-house or sending it out? Uh, some, some have to be sent out because you have to have an official certification. Mm -hmm. The radiological equipment gets sent to New Jersey to the New Jersey State Police. They, they have a, a radiological testing lab that Pennsylvania doesn't have. Okay. And Gordy? Call-wise, John, how has uh, 2015 been for the hazmat team? Have you uh, had more or less? Or? I, it's, it's, it's pretty much steady. I mean, there, there really hazardous <coughs> materials calls. There aren't really many hazardous materials calls as far as extremely hazardous. Uh, what they respond to a lot are the, the traffic accidents with diesel fuel Leaks. spills, home heating fuel spills and things like that. Uh, there, was, there was one ammonia leak and that was a, the, uh, one of the chicken plants back in Fredericksburg over the summer. There was a small ammonia leak there. It was pretty rapidly contained by on-site personnel before the hazmat team even arrived. How many of the uh, biohazard DOA type situations uh, have you dealt with? There was there was ten of those last year. If there are no other questions. We'll uh, vote. So all in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. So moved. I did think of one more question, if I may. What's the average response time to an incident? Uh, to, to they actually assemble the, the team and the crew out of here, it, it's generally under half an hour. Thank you. Yeah, probably about 20 minutes or so, they're out the door. I was just curious. And on curious. the way the volunteers get here, because the volunteers come from, from all over the county, so yeah. they actually get to here and they actually get to respond. Okay. And Sometimes the duty officer will go right away just to assess the scene. Which is opposed to over two hours if you have it outside the An county. outside team can yeah. take, they, they're allowed up to two hours before they even respond. Right. So.